All right, guys, Tom here with my second video coming at you in two days. In my last video, I stated that I'm sending out two videos because we hit 2,000 members in my free group on Facebook, Dropshipping University Mastermind. If you have yet to join it, please join it. The link will be in the description. There's a lot of free information, lots of great free content, and we try to answer as many questions as possible as long as we know the answer to the questions. So this video is gonna be all about, I wasn't planning on doing this video until the developer reached out to me earlier and we copped a pretty good deal for you guys. I've been using TrackerBot for a while, and this video is gonna be all about using TrackerBot and how to automate your tracking for your eBay dropshipping business. So, that being said, I've never even not used a tracking service for my eBay dropshipping business. I've maybe the first week or something, and it just gets old really quick. You have to track down all the tracking, you have to put it all in, you have to make sure you do it on time. When you have TrackerBot, you don't have to worry about a single thing. You don't have to worry about that at all. You literally set it up and it's automatic and it works for you. It reads it through your Gmail. So it connects to your Gmail and then to your eBay account and it automatically uploads for you. It saves you hours and hours and hours of time. And I got a pretty sweet promotion deal for you guys. So the affiliate link is going to be down the, in the, the description below. And if you stay to the end, I'll let you guys know what the actual deal is. So that being said, let's get on and talk about TrackerBot. So this is the main website. It's trackerbot.me, not .com, so don't mess that up. There's a free 14-day trial, and you don't even have to put your PayPal or your credit card down. So they're not going to automatically charge you after the 14 days, which is great in case you don't like it or in case you don't want to use it anymore. But I don't see when you start using it why you would ever go back. Um, uploading tracking is just so time-consuming, and there's no point in having an automatic, like not having an automatic tracking uploader. So what is TrackerBot? There's a bunch of different um, prices and stuff like that. I don't really know the actual details of it. But the one thing I can say is that they cover a ton of suppliers. Amazon, all these different Amazon ones, Walmart, Home Depot, the three main ones, Overstock, Sears, Wayfair, Kmart. I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, they got Target in there. All the big ones, Academy, Costco, all the big ones that you're going to ever use. And I don't know very many other suppliers that are going to be on here, minus if you're going to do like, Chinese supplying or something like that, but I don't ever talk about that and I don't do that. So if you want to look at the prices right here, I mean, it goes based off of how many trackings you get uploaded per month. So there's a starter, the professional, the business, and then you can contact them. There's, oh, there's the baller one, unlimited. You can contact them and try to get your custom plan if you want. And I have a custom plan of, I think, 10,000 trackings per month. And I think I do around like eight to seven of those thousands. So that, I mean, that's about how much I take up. And it's pretty cheap. It's affordable. It's like 40, 50 bucks a month or something like that. And I mean, it saves you so much time. Even paying a VA to do all of this, it's definitely cheaper. So that being said, I'm going to log into my TrackerBot account. And I'm going to have a lot of stuff blurred out so you can't see my information. But I think you guys will still get the gist of it. So this is a dashboard when you first log in. And this is basically where all your tracking numbers get uploaded. So as an order comes through, it'll log into here. It'll put the tracking information in as time goes on. So it'll show you the item over here. I have it blurred out. The customer name, the price, the record number. It literally covers everything. And the record numbers over here, you can tell are different numbers because I have three different accounts attached to this at once. I don't even know what the limit is for accounts, but I think it's pretty high. So you can have as many accounts, eBay accounts that you have on there connected. You connect all your different Gmails, all your different eBay accounts, and it works perfectly every single time. It tells you what carrier it is. You can click on the link and it'll take you there and stuff like that tell you if it's uploaded and it'll show you this, this, the status of the shipping. So that's basically the bread and butter of this entire program. And this is exactly what you sign up for. But it also does have a lot more functions that are actually very important. So you can actually do this thing called automatic messaging. So I have a message set up for my buyers that every time it said send message after every purchase. So every time a buyer buys the item, you can put in their name like hello, first name. Thank you for choosing our store, blah, 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 blah. Thank you for buying our stuff. We'll let you know when it's on the way and stuff like that. So it's really helpful. A lot of buyers really like it. I get a lot of messages back like, oh, thank you for being so communicative. But in reality, it was all automated. And I didn't even do anything. And it's just an automatic message sent to everybody. You can also have a send message when item is shipped, send message when it's an Amazon logistics, and send message when item is delivered for Amazon items only. I don't really utilize any of those. These are all newer things. And I don't feel a need to. But if you really want to customize this, you can. You can apply all the settings to your, to, you can apply the settings to all your eBay accounts. You can have different settings on different accounts. Say you have one account for like Walmart or one account for Amazon or something like that. I know people do that. So you can do that and you can set up different, um, just different messages for each one. So you can go through and do that. 
But the best thing I would say that TrackerBot has to offer that a lot of other tracking things don't offer is this Amazon Logistics Monitor. So you can go back to the dashboard over here, and when you see a tracking number that comes up in, in orange, this is TBA, this is an Amazon Logistics number, eBay does not accept those as a verified legitimate tracking information. But what you can do is say somebody opens an item not received case against you and it is an Amazon Logistics number, if you provide them the tracking monitor uh, URL, then they will accept it and you don't lose money. And I've won every single case that has ever come up in this way. So you never have to worry about losing an items not received case ever again. And you, you just have the confidence that you can sell from Amazon onto eBay and not get screwed over by people trying to scheme you because they say that it didn't come because you didn't upload a tracking or you uploaded a TBA, whatever the number is after that. So it kind of looks like this, but if you click on the number like I showed on the dashboard, then it'll bring you right to the monitor. And I just want to show you one of the, my delivered packages to show you what it looks like. And this is basically what it is. It shows you that, you know, it shows your sold by your store, the dude's address, stuff like that. But it also shows delivered, out for delivery. It basically just takes what was on Amazon for the logistics tracking and puts it into this website where you can find a URL and bring it, like bring the eBay customer support to that. They see it, they accept it. As long as it's the same um, town or, or, you know, city area, they accept it. And as long as it's in the same time frame of when you said it was going to get delivered, they accept it every single time. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about not winning an items not received case anymore. So if this program didn't already sound good enough, there's also feedback reminders, which I mean, I don't know why you would use this really. If you want to upload your own feedback yourself and type it all in, it's kind of a pain in the ass. And I've never used anything like the feedback reminder, but it can set up a reminder to tell people to tell you when to upload your feedback or give them feedback or whatever it is. But, oh, this is a, actually a message so that you can ask people that for feedback, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't, I don't use this function in all honesty. But I do use an auto feedback function. So I don't use the TrackerBot auto feedback function because all of my stores are premium stores. And when you have a premium store on eBay, you do get uh, Seller Hub Pro for free. And Seller Hub Pro does have an automatic feedback uploader. But if you don't have a premium store and you have a basic store, then... Uh, Seller Hub Pro costs $15 a month. So if you're already paying for TrackerBot, then why would you pay the extra $15 for Seller Hub Pro? And TrackerBot has the automatic feedback updater. So you can you know, automatically leave feedback and then you can type in what you want or what it's gonna do. So those are basically the main things. And I would say that the Amazon Logistics Tracking Monitor is probably the biggest thing that not every single company has. And it's extremely important to have something like that. It saves your ass on so many cases if you do a lot of Amazon and a lot of stuff like that. And not to mention it automatically uploads all of your tracking information for you. So how does it work? I mean, all you really have to do is just upload your Gmails, which I'm going to have blurred out right here. And then below is you just connect your eBay accounts and everything's good from there. I've never had a problem with it. The only problem I've ever had is when I accidentally changed one of my email address passwords and forgot about it and then forgot that I had to re-upload it on um, TrackerBot. And I went like two days without uploading tracking and I felt like an idiot. But that's basically my fault. The next thing you can do is set up eBay settings. So you can set up a setting that, you know, if you check this box off. So right now I have these boxes checked off for laser ship and on track. That means that they, it will list laser ship and on track. Cause I know Amazon does ship through those two, like very, very, very rarely, but it does happen. And eBay does accept them, but you can also have it not upload the Amazon logistics numbers if you want. And it has stuff in here for China post. If you're drop shipping from China and doing stuff like that. So what I have right here is these two checked off and it means it won't, the ones that are unchecked, it means it won't upload those to eBay for you. And I say don't add a new tracker so it doesn't add anything. But if you want to overwrite it or do something, then you can check off all these boxes and say overwrite it and it will just upload the, the Amazon logistics number to your actual tracking number on eBay. So it's very customizable and you can do whatever you want. So the, the great things about TrackerBot is one, they cover a ton of different suppliers, ton of different sources. They track a bunch of different eBay accounts. You can have, I think it's up to 10 or something eBay accounts on here. And it's extremely easy. All you have to do is just connect the email and connect the Gmail uh, and connect the eBay. It's that easy. You get everything set up. But most importantly, it's the Amazon Logistics Tracking Monitor. Not every single one of these tracking programs has it. And it's become a pretty big thing that's become pretty important where eBay has admitted that they do accept these tracking monitors and they do accept the Amazon logistics numbers. They just don't take it as a real tracking number. Hence why it's very hard to get top rated as a drop shipper. So that being said, I'm sure you guys want to know what the actual discount is or what the promo code is. So I'm going to put my affiliate link below in the description and the affiliate link. If you sign up for my affiliate link and I'm going to move my face right here 
and you contact their customer support down here in the bottom right and say that you signed up because you saw Ecom Tom's YouTube video or if you're in my Facebook group and you saw this, just say, hey, I know Ecom Tom or I signed up through Ecom Tom's affiliate link, you will get 50% off your first month's payment no matter what size your, um, your subscription is. So say it's the $50 subscription, you're getting $25 off. If it's the $10 subscription, you're getting $5 off. So that being said, there is a 14 day free trial. You don't even have to worry about signing up with your PayPal or anything like that. And you won't have to worry about it auto renewing or screwing you over or a, or a payment that shows up because you forgot about it. I mean, it, it's pretty much a no lose situation. You get 14 days for free and then you get the first month for 50% off. I've been using TrackerBot ever since I started back in, I started in October 2017 and I think I did the first two weeks in October by myself by hand and I was like, this sucks. There's definitely a better way out there and I found TrackerBot and it's a great program. They also have another program that helps you with your accounting if you're not very good at using Google Sheets or you don't want to do it by hand, which nobody wants to do things by hand. There's, that's why there's software for these things and you can use AccountoBot. That's their other parent or sister program and that will do your accounting for you. It's not like a legitimate accounting. I would say get a CPA and all that stuff. I'm not a legal tax professional, whatever I have to say, but it will give you a general ballpark idea of what the profit you're making. It connects to your Gmails. It checks what the price was, what you sold it for, if there was tax, if there wasn't tax. If you get supplier discounts, like the 5% cashback card for Amazon, you can plug all that stuff in. And I'm gonna do another video on that as well to help you guys set up all of your programs and all of your settings for AccountoBot. But TrackerBot is very, very, very straightforward, very easy to use. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. But I really think that you should be able to figure this out fairly easily on your own and it's literally like a 10, 15, 20 minute setup to begin with and then you never have to touch your tracking ever again. To me, that time is irreplaceable. It's, it's invaluable. It's just amazing how much time you save. And even if you had a, a virtual assistant do it, I mean, there's, there's ways that they could mess up. They could screw something up. Maybe they don't work one day. This track, tracker bot's always running and I pay literally $50 a month for it. So in my mind, there's no reason not to get this program. If you have any idea, any questions or any ideas of other tracking programs, you post it below, but please like this video, comment, please subscribe. And if you want, to uh, sign up with my affiliate link, please do. You will get 50% off for your first month and I'll be able to contact, I'll be able to see who signs up and I'll be able to contact them for you or you can go and contact them on your own down here in the bottom right using their support chat. So that's about it for this. I hope this video is very informative and I hope that I showed that I actually liked talking about TrackerBot and a program that I actually use more than you know a title building video where I don't typically believe in that aspect of the business. But so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please subscribe. I want to grow it up to 500,000 plus members and I'm really liking the growth that's coming out of this channel and it makes me motivated to put up more videos in the future. So thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.